Mercedes Sprinter camper van. And I bought some CAC tanks, CAC water tanks off the CAC website. Uh, looking online, there's not much about fitting them. So today I'm going to try and give some sort of tutorial, if I can do it, to uh, help other people fit them. I've looked online, looked online, and there's lots of people that have done them, but they don't exactly show where the clips are going. So hopefully uh, I'll be able to provide some support for that today. I'm currently converting a Mercedes Sprinter camper van. As you can see, floors down, insulation's in. It's interesting actually because today I've come and it is very cold, but the water that's condensated on the from the night is unreal. And I've actually had a sky sky pod put in. So it's raised up a bit in the water. So I'm going to have to try and make sure I uh, insulate that soon. Anyway, so we'll have a look under the van now and see what we can uh, sort out. Okay, so with the CAC tanks you get these brackets that attach underneath the van. Now I have primed them, sprayed them and lacquered them to give them a bit more protection. Uh, to do that I just hung them up on these holes made myself a little hook system and I just sprayed them. Ideally I'd want to do another coat but because of the temperature it is freezing today. Um, there goes the train. Because of the temperature it's not going to be viable so I'm going to have a go at seeing if I can put them in today and if need me I'll just drop them down in the future. Okay this is the uh, waste tank made by CAC. Now it did not come with this access hatch. I um, I added this as an extra so that if I want to get in and clean it I can give it a good clean. Okay, now the video tutorials that I have seen online that did this did this on top. However if you then want to clean it you've got to take the tank down unconnect it all. So I've done mine underneath so that theoretically you could leave it in place get a hose under there and swill it out. The inlet that first came with the tank was only very thin, so I've adapted that to a one and a half inch inlet so that drainage from the sink, drainage from the shower should flow into it nice and quickly. Thinking about it, I may add another one depending on the positioning of the tank underneath. Okay, so we're going to have a look under the van. So I am now starting to realise why not many people have done videos on this. I wonder if I can zoom that out a bit. Because it's incredibly awkward under here. So you've got this bulkhead bit here. Now just under there is the driver's seat. So we're coming this way and you've got a nice little gully here. As you can see there's a hole. Now this hole when I bought the van was already there. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to use that. If not, I'll just patch it and cover it up. But you do have these ribs, okay? So if you're running along here, you have these ribs with holes in. Now I'm told that the brackets that come with the cat tanks should fit into these ribs. So I'm going to have a look, have a play, and then I'll let you know where is best to fit them, okay? When you buy your waste tank, uh, you are given a set of brackets, a drain hose, and some clips to clip your hoses all in to secure them. So, now there are no instructions that come with these tanks, so I'm told that these hook into the van and then you bolt up. Okay, and that's what you're given with the waste set. Okay, I'm under the van now. The one set of clips, I don't know if it was by chance, but the holes were there so that it could scoop into that. Now this was a already converted camper van, so I don't know whether they've made them already. But that would hook up there and then could pull through there like that. Now that seems pretty secure. This one, however, is not quite so simple because there's that but there's also a hole on the side so if you look at this one it can go through there 
and it just clips onto the side and holds on. I don't know if you can see that. I can see why they don't film them underneath here now. See that? Now if I do that, potentially the bracket will be diagonal. Or I can drill a hole through there so that it's got a very similar fitment to that. So I'll have a look and see which one I think will be best. I'm, because I'm quite OCD, I know you're not going to see it, but I do like the idea of the bracket being square as opposed to diagonal. We'll see. Okay, so top tip. I have attached this bracket ever so slightly by threading the one. Okay, now, like I say, no instructions with this, learning as I go, but it is incredibly awkward under here. So I'm thinking if I've threaded some, put the tank in, push it up, and just try and catch the other ones on, and then it'll all tighten up nicely. And if you can see that. Why they don't fit put instructions with this, I have no idea, but. This is my plan. Okay, so in hindsight, I probably should have stuck the van on a little ramp just to make it easier. But you've got to slide it on its side to get underneath normally. Now I am parked on a bit of a slope. But yeah, not an easy game, not an easy job. Okay, because I'm doing this as a one man band, I've managed to balance the water tank into the hooks. So my little ingenious idea of threading the one bolt first has paid off pretty well because I say that I can lift that now and push hopefully pull that into place. It's just so awkward because it's obviously underneath in a small gap. It's worth noting that the bolts they provide are 13 mil. I've gone for a uh, a longer ratchet piece not saying I need it but just in case I do just in case the bolt's quite long um, I probably will get some I think they're called nylocks just to stop those from working loose underneath the van I mean they shouldn't do but can't be too careful so let's have a go okay guys as you can see I've got that one bolted in there and that one Underneath there, I haven't tightened them up yet because I'm going to pull them up tight. Sorry about the hands. I say this is so awkward. You got your inlet at the top, your outlet at the bottom. That was where you're going to drain. So then, yeah, that works nicely. So they fit to these ribs. That one's kind of under there. Now I don't know if your van will have that. But that certainly made it easier, I haven't had to drill anything. I am going to spray it with some undercoat anyway, just to keep it protected. But that's what it should look like. Okay, useful little tip. I mean, you could do it with a screwdriver, but I got an extension arm. Just because some of the bolts are quite tricky to uh, get next to. But it's all tight and secure, so let me show you underneath the van. Okay, so here we are. Clips. Tight, tight. I haven't done them too tight, but I've done them, but like that, it's not going anywhere. That is, that is stiff. I didn't want to over tight them just in case I uh, flex the plastic, but I'll say that is solid. That isn't going to move. So there we go. I want to try and test this really to see if this is going to leak. I mean, it shouldn't do, but things are never simple, are they? So the idea being, like I said, that I can undo there, give it a swing out. Obviously with the waste, it's going to be all the soapy water and shower water that you don't want. So it makes sense to be able to clean this one out. Anyway, I hope that is helpful for you. I'll say there's never been, or there's not been one that's shown it in quite so much detail as to where to put the clips, etc. So hopefully that's of use. And uh, let me know.
I uh, thought I would give it a test. Obviously I've fitted that access hatch, so I've just got a bit of pipe. Gotta be careful I don't soak myself now. And I've uh, attached it to the drain. And then obviously that lets me then see if this is leaking in any way. Doesn't show it is, no drips yet. So I'm gonna hold it here for a few minutes, make sure there's no drips. I mean, I'm assuming there's enough water in. Maybe we'll have to have a test in a minute to see. But there's nothing coming from there at the moment. So it's all looking pretty good. So I definitely recommend building one of those in. Now that hatch cost me eight quid from eBay. Bit of sicker flex. And um, yeah, that should mean in future, get back from a uh, camp away or whatever, you can just drop that hatch, give it a swill, and then you've got a nice clean waste tank as opposed to it getting all grubby. So there you go. Just got to hold this up here because of obviously the laws of gravity. Bring it down. And out it goes. Right, so uh, I've got my lovely assistant here. Fine. Okay, so I'm gonna just double check now just to make sure that there is water in there. Yeah, but it's gonna probably mean I get a soap time. I gotta hold this up. Yep, don't drop it. So I'm gonna release this hatch now. Just assume there's no, uh, that is bone dry. So if I release this hatch. Uh, there we go. So that just makes access very easy. Yeah, I'm going to have to move because <laughs> I'm going to get soaked. Um, also a quick way to drain. Obviously I'm not condoning draining that anywhere but yeah definitely recommend one of those.